How to get ready for work. Getting up for work in the morning can be difficult. You may not want to get out of bed or you may find yourself running around to get everything prepared on time. The key to getting ready for work is doing some stuff the night before, so you don't find yourself pressed for time before you have to head out the door. Starting the night before. Take a shower. While a morning shower can help wake you up, it can also take valuable time out of your morning routine before work. To give yourself a little more leeway when you get out of bed, consider taking a shower before bed in the evening. Because you'll just be sleeping afterward, you don't have to worry about getting dirty before work. Evening showers can also help improve the quality of your sleep, so you will be well rested for your job. If you're worried about your hair looking flat or even greasy without a morning shower, dry shampoo is a lifesaver. It soaks up excess oil at your scalp and adds body without any suds or heavy-duty styling. If you're worried about your hair looking flat or even greasy without a morning shower, dry shampoo is a lifesaver. It soaks up excess oil at your scalp and adds body without any suds or heavy-duty styling. Choose an outfit. Waiting until you get out of bed to find the right outfit to wear to work can make your morning more stressful than it needs to be. Instead, pick out your clothes the night before and lay them out so there's easy to grab after you wake up. It's also a good idea to try your outfit and to make sure that everything fits well and is ready to wear for work. Make sure that your clothing is appropriate for work. While you may need to wear a suit if you're employed at an office, you should choose polished clothing even if your workplace is more casual so you project a professional image, especially if you meet with clients or customers. That means no ripped, torn, or stained clothing. For example, a man might wear an iron button-down shirt, dress pants, and lace-up dress shoes in a more casual workplace. Any outfit chosen should be dressy but not too formal. Getting your clothes ready the night before also gives you time to figure out if anything needs to be ironed, so you don't wind up at work in wrinkled clothing. You may want to consider installing wall-mounted racks on the wall of your bedroom or closet where you can hang a multiple days worth of outfits. That way, you can plan out your clothing for a week at a time and not have to worry about it each night. Make sure that your clothing is appropriate for work. While you may need to wear a suit if you're employed at an office, you should choose polished clothing even if your workplace is more casual so you project a professional image, especially if you meet with clients or customers. That means no ripped, torn, or stained clothing, for example, a man might wear an iron button-down shirt, dress pants, and lace-up dress shoes in a more casual workplace. Any outfit chosen should be dressy but not too formal. Getting your clothes ready the night before also gives you time to figure out if anything needs to be ironed, so you don't wind up at work in wrinkled clothing. You may want to consider installing wall-mounted racks on the wall of your bedroom or closet where you can hang a multiple days worth of outfits. That way, you can plan out your clothing for a week at a time and not have to worry about it each night. Organize your work materials. You don't want to get to work and realize that you left something you need at home, so you may want to organize your work items the night before. Doing so will also save you from running around in the morning trying to track down what you need. Check that you have all of the documents, files, and other paperwork that you might need, as well as your laptop or tablet, ready to go. If you need any special tools or equipment for your job, make sure that they're organized as well. Set double alarms. There are few things worse than being late for work, but we've all had mornings where we oversleep. Ideally, you wouldn't need an alarm clock to wake you in the morning because you'd be on such a regular schedule, but that's not really practical. If you have trouble getting up in the morning, set a dedicated alarm clock before you go to sleep to wake with enough time to get ready in the morning, and then set a backup alarm for a few minutes after the first just in case you sleep through the first or hit the snooze. You don't have to purchase a second clock, though, just use your smartphone. It's a good idea to place your alarm clock and phone out of reach from your bed, so you physically have to get up to turn it off. If you are in the habit of hitting the snooze button, you can find some alarm clock apps for your smartphone that actually require you to solve a puzzle or other challenge before the alarm turns off. That may help you wake enough to realize that snoozing is a bad idea. Get a good night's sleep. It's tough to face the day if you aren't well rested. Prepare for work by ensuring that you get enough sleep at night. Make sure to avoid caffeine approximately 4 to 6 hours before bedtime, and make your bedroom more conducive to sleep by covering the windows with heavy curtains or blackout shades to prevent light from creeping in. Keep your room between 60 and 75 degrees Fahrenheit 15 to 24 degrees Celsius so it's comfortable for sleeping, and rid your bedroom of any distractions, such as a TV, computer, or tablet. For young adults, ages 18 through 64, 7 to 9 hours of sleep is usually sufficient to prepare you for the day. If you're over the age of 64, you can get by with 7 to 8 hours of sleep. 
For young adults, ages 18 through 64, 7 to 9 hours of sleep is usually sufficient to prepare you for the day. If you're over the age of 64, you can get by with 7 to 8 hours of sleep. Don't worry about work again until the next morning. If you're distracted by problems at work or what you have to get done the next day, you'll likely have trouble sleeping. Try to relax by keeping your mind off work-related matters for the night so you can ensure a good night's sleep. If you have trouble shutting down your thoughts, consider using a sleep meditation when you get into bed to help calm and relax your mind. You can use various apps for your smartphone that guide you through meditations that help encourage sleep. Quietly reading a book in bed before you go to sleep can also help distract you from thoughts of work.